Sanders are preparing for one of the largest Veterans Day parades in the country. 13 Action News reporter Kelsey McFarland is live in downtown Las Vegas, where thousands of people are expected to attend this morning. Good morning, Kelsey. Good morning, guys. Yeah, it's going to be an exciting day downtown Las Vegas. This event has been about a year in the making, and organizers are also up bright and early planning and making sure that everything is set to go. I want to show you some video of the parade in previous years, just kind of a preview of what you could see this year. You'll enjoy marching bands, creative floats, and several military-based organizations that are dedicated to celebrating and thanking veterans. The Veterans Action Group plays a key role in planning, and they're excited about the new addition to the parade, a Sherman tank, which is the main battle tank designed and built by the U.S. for World War II. President of the Veterans Action Group, Jerome Adams, served in the Air Force and the Vietnam War. He says the year of hard work and planning is worth it, so he can see fellow veterans feel appreciated. This is a day you get to honor the living veterans, those that are serving wartime and peacetime. And uh, all of them deserve to get some praise and honor for their giving up for the service to their country. Now, the parade will run north on 4th Street between Gas and Stewart Avenues. It's set to start at 10 a.m., but you'll certainly want to show up earlier than that so you can find a spot. It's sure to be a crowded day today. Everyone is welcome for the family-friendly event. And organizers want veterans to know RTC is offering free rides to and from the parade as long as you have an ID to prove that you are a veteran. Reporting live, I'm Kelsey McFarland, 13 Action News. Going to be a great morning downtown. Kelsey, thank you.